very bright morning, Kitsuga family. What's up, guys? Girls? Everything in between. It's the end of the month. You know what Sorry, that means. I don't know that one. Loot anime. Alexa says hello, by the way. It's time for loot anime, guys. So this month, I don't know what the theme is. I don't know what's inside. I've had a crazy November. Uh, I imagine a lot of you have had the same. So I haven't even had time to look at it. But it's the end of November. So let's check this guy out and see what's inside. Oh, right off the bat. I'm super happy. Uh, we've got a Madoka SQ fig, it looks like. Uh, is this Madoka and Homura? Wow. Uh, way to play to me. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but I have about, like, 20 of these. Uh, not this one, though. <laughs> this is from the Rebellion movie, and it looks like it is both of them. Like, wow. Way to step it up, Loot Crate. <laughs> that makes me real happy. Uh... I'm going to open this guy up at the end of the video and we'll take a look, right? Because I don't want to spend a thousand years opening it on video. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins Hawk Eraser. Uh, this is a showin. Not super familiar with showins. And this one, uh, this is really heavy, but it looks like it's a pink eraser. Uh, okay. Um, there's something else in here, too. I'm working the way there. Um, well, uh, okay, so there's scratch-off pin. This is a $10 gift card for Verve. Uh, this is the service that Crunchyroll and uh, a couple other companies do. It's like Crunchyroll, Funimation, Cartridge Hangover, Rooster Teeth, and it combines all of them together. It's a really cool service. Check it out. If you don't already have Crunchyroll or if you also watch other shows, this is a great way to get all those shows at once uh, in one place on Verve. And then we've got something fabric-y that says One Piece. Oh, it's one of those bags. I'm sorry about the noise. I know there was probably a lot of noise. It's one of those uh, real cool uh, fabric bags. Usually these are usually these are made of plastic, so this is cool that it's, made, it's not made of plastic. And it's got the dog on it. Don't ask me what the dog's name is. I'm not a One Piece fan. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. It's really high quality, like, fabric material. Not Usually these are made of plastic. I get a lot of these at conventions from various companies. They make them out of plastic and they I kind of just throw away. Uh, and then, uh, also, wow, this is a really good box, guys. Uh, Kaon, looks like. Uh, Kaon. Is this just the, the manga? The first the first one? Yeah, it is. The first. Oh, it's color. Oh, first few pages are color. Okay. But yeah, this is Kaon, first manga book. Uh, also, not a Kaon fan, but I'll probably read that because I have it now, so why not? Uh, and then we have this month's Phone Charm. Very cute cat. A real, real adorable cat. Uh, we've got the holiday offer. Um, if you guys don't already know about it, every holiday Loot Crate runs a, an offer, 10% off with the code Holiday Hero. So if you guys want to get 10% off your order, new subscriptions, Holiday Hero, 10% off. It's actually a pretty good deal. Um, if you order a, lo a long subscription, 10% is a lot. Uh, if you order a year, that's quite a bit of money. So. <laughs> And then let's take a look at the poster. I love the poster. You know me. I'm a poster girl. And uh, let's see what we got. It's big. Oh, it's actually half size this year. It's a, a girl and a cat. That's cute. Uh, it's, this is Besties. Oh, that explains why we got Madoka. Uh, also, it's, like it's not Madoka and Homer. It's just Madoka. So we have that Seven Deadly Sins Hawk Oversized Eraser. The Besties Charm, which is that little cute cat. The Madoka Kaname figure, which is a Loot Crate exclusive. Um... I think I already have that Madoka fig, though. That's weird that it's an exclusive if I already have it. Uh, the Kaon first chapter manga and the One Piece Tony Chopper. That's what that character is called. Uh, Tony Chopper. And then there's some information on this about uh, the official loot anime uh, fan club that you can only get to into if you're a member of loot anime. So. Go buy a loot anime box. Use that hol use code Holiday Hero. Get 10% off, and then you can uh, go join the club. I'll be there. I like clubs. So let's take a look at this Madoka figure. Um, I must personally say that I like the figures much more than the t-shirts. Um, a lot of people on the internet's world have been saying that they're not as big of a fan of the figures as they are of the t-shirts, but I think that's because you can't really pick. You're only really going to pick your figure, right? You're going to pick t-shirts. You kind of get to pick them. Figures are uh, like a more p personal thing for a lot of people, so I can see people that don't don't like that, but Madoka is one of my favorite characters of all time. Homer is my favorite, was my favorite from Madoka Magica, but I'll take a Madoka fig. Hell yes, I'll take a Madoka fig. 
Uh, and what do we have? It looks like it's actually fully just intact fig. I don't have to do anything. I lied. I'm a total liar. Uh, you want to see something frightening forever? There's a headless Madoka. Um, she's not mine. Sorry, spoilers. If you don't know about Madoka Magica, spoilers for the fact that mommy dies without a head. Rest in peace. So we have very frilly dressed Madoka. Um, like, very frilly dressed. Um, and of course we have our stand and a Madoka head. Madoka head. Um, this is a pretty, pretty much the same quality as the other figs. Um, still nothing that's like of a Kotobayoki quality, but, you know, that's alright. You're not going to get a quite a quality fig out of the loot crate box. Hello, cat. I hear you. And then we've got arms and a stand here. One of the things that I uh, actually always look at on my figs is the stands. Not a lot of people give a shit about the stands on their figs, but I like my figs to be in action-y poses. Um, so if I can, I like to get ones with unique stands, because that way you have like a really cool, unique action-y pose. Um... <laughs> I hope that makes sense the way I said it, but basically I like my figures to look like they're actually in action instead of just, you know, chilling that hard. Uh, if you guys are interested in a tour of my large collection of figures that you can't just see behind me, then let me know, and I'll, I'll throw up a video with all of those guys. Hang on, I'm just plugging Madoka's arms in. Um, this is actually a more difficult process than I imagined it would be. Uh, if you ever do get a bunch of figures to assemble... Um, make sure you have on hand some glue because sometimes what they do is they use different different um, holes so like the hole will be like an octagon and the peg will be like a, uh, a circle and so what you end up with is you have to shove this circle into the octagon and that's what's supposed to hold it because it'll actually it's actually supposed to deform I like it I mean the face is good uh, one of the big problems I have with a lot of other figures is their faces yeah there we go that's a good Pretty good shot of the face. There's a little cat bobtail behind me. Yeah, um, I like it. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I don't remember the part in Rebellion where Madoka wore a poofy skirt like this. Uh, this is usually not her, her normal wardrobe. But that's okay. Um, alternate costume Madoka is also still a Madoka. So uh, it's a good high quality PVC. Um, I like the, the detail on the, on the ponies here, little ponytails, they're very sharp and pointy, I like that. Um, that's something that not every figure is going to do because it's going to have a lot of, uh, there's going to be a lot of potential for breakage there, and so you want to make sure that you keep it nice uh, whenever possible. That's it from us guys for December, the December Loot Crate, uh, which was the Friends Loot Crate, and uh, much appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll be announcing the winner of last week's contest in the comments from last or last month's contest, sorry, from the comments from last month's video. So if you were commenting on last month's video to try and win the figure, and I responded to your comment, you were the winner. So make sure that you respond back to me, and we'll get to the PMs so that we can go ahead and get ourselves a little, uh, get ourselves our whole world of making sure to ship you out that fig. That was for the, uh, the Dio fig, the JoJo's, because I'm not a JoJo's person. Alright guys, thanks, and I hope you have a great holiday.